been quite a while since we had a battle between good and evil. We've got a divine being and a dark monster. Pit, the flightless angel. Kazuya, carrier of the devil gene. Which of these polar opposites will win in a battle to the death? This is Fictional Fights! Think for a moment, if you had an army of your own, who would you want to lead it? Probably someone giant, with a determined brain and rock-hard abs, like me. Sure. Well, Lady Palantina has someone completely different in mind. ...hamburgers and you'll turn into one. What? You're not serious, are you? Meat Pit! The scrawny, Sora from Kingdom Hearts looking guy. Poor choice if you ask me. Oh, I wouldn't underestimate him if I were you. As it turns out, Pitt's got that position after rescuing Palantina from Medusa in the Underworld. There's no way a kid angel that puny could do all that by himself without some kind of fancy weapons. Some is an understatement. He has blades, staffs, claws, and a bow that fires arrows of light. Palms, arms, orbitars, clubs, and even cannons! Oh, that's not even half his arsenal. Did I mention that he can fuse two weapons to make all new ones? The Insight Staff is great for beginners. It even has a cool charge shot. The Great Reaper Palm sends Repets to weaken a foe's stats. The Upper Dash Arm can land a powerful blow and shoot ring-shaped projectiles. Pit can even assemble three weapon parts to create the Daybreak, which fires a massive laser with devastating Are we going through all of these? I want to hurry up and get to that fancy cannon that shoots streams of fire. Actually, I was getting to his ultimate weapons. One of them being the Three Sacred Treasures. Equip! Three Sacred Treasures! Ah! Where one, Player two, Bow and shield in his hand, and a super tacky helmet on his head. This weapon fires a barrage of light arrows and rains pillars of light upon Pit's opponents. Oh, it gets even better with the Great Sacred Treasure. This powerful weapon is packed with turrets and ring glazers. It can change to fit the user's needs in combat, and has a cannon that fires an even stronger laser than the Daybreak. Weapons aside, Pit can also upgrade himself to become stronger. He can warp, increase his own speed, and create barriers that reflect shots. Jeez, with all these weapons and powers, you gotta wonder why this guy isn't able to fly. Well, he can. There's just one teensy problem. Well, what's the problem? Is he scared people will look up his dress? Not exactly. As it turns out, Pit is only allowed to fly with the permission of Palantina. Are you serious? Wow, what a ripoff! That's his biggest weakness. However, even though Pit needs permission from Palantina to perform some actions, he has shown some impressive feats by himself. He's fast enough to outrun lightning and strong enough to destroy the Aurum Hive! He is powerful enough to defeat Medusa and even Palantina, the very person he lives to protect. He's durable enough to survive blows from Hades and then beat him. Pitt has taken on several armies and has done his best to protect and serve Lady Palutena. Woo! Well, who wouldn't want to protect and serve a hottie like that? Vic, y your virgin is showing. Huh? Where? <laughs> Let's see if Kazuya and the Devil Gene can stand up to these divine forces. Hey, I'm supposed to introduce the next guy. Thirteen episodes in, and after this, we'll have already covered the three most important members of the Mishima clan. You know Jin, you know Haihachi, you know the story, but let's take a look at Kazuya's side of things. If you remember from the stories of the previous characters, Kazuya was born with a special power called the Devil Gene which he got from his mother. This power awakened when Kazuya was filled with rage after being thrown off a cliff by Heihachi. Kazuya vowed to get revenge on his father, and when he did, the Devil Gene took over completely. With Kazuya consumed by the lust for power, Heihachi returned and defeated him to retake the throne of the Mishima Zaibatsu, and Kazuya hasn't done anything plot relevant since. Well, he got to command his own army to lead in the form of G Corporation. <laughs> he does have something in common with Pit after all. Oh, and what has he done with his army besides losing a war horribly? Fair point. On to the cool stuff then. Despite his hatred for his father, Kazuya seems to have picked up quite a bit of his father's fighting style. He's nowhere near a clone of his father though. 
Kazuya has added plenty of his own signature moves into his arsenal. Triple spin kick, lightning screw uppercut, and all you competitive Tekken players out there say it with me, E-W-G-F! He's pretty experienced in combat and rivals his father in skill. This skill and power is most likely thanks to the Devil Gene. This deadly energy grants the user multiple new abilities. Lasers, flight, teleportation, and telekinesis. Kazuya hasn't used fireballs or force fields yet, but considering that all the Devil Gene users have had the same powers so far, he could probably do them too. Despite his incredible power, Kazuya does have one gigantic weakness. The apple didn't fall far from the tree as Kazuya, like Heihachi, has a bit of trouble with his pride and arrogance. He acts all big and underestimates his opponent, even though he has way more losses than wins. He beat Hihachi once and then gets his butt kicked by Jin, Hihachi, and Lars the rest of the series. Although he may have the worst record of the Mishima clan, he's still at the top of the food chain in the Tekken universe. The Devil Gene is so feared that there are even prophecies about it. It's mentioned multiple times throughout the series that a full-powered clash between two users of the Devil Gene could bring destruction to the planet. I hope you realize what'll happen if you two fight. If the world can be destroyed by a mere father-son quarrel, then so be it. Users of the Devil Gene can also fly at massively hypersonic speeds! Don't give all your attention to his Devil Form. He has quite a bit of feats in his base form too. Right! Kazi is strong enough to one-shot jack robots that are durable enough to shatter meteors six miles in diameter! Just so you know, that's the exact size of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. Too bad he chickened out of that ambush later on, though. One thing Kazuya seems to be very good at is taking a beating. Thanks to the Devil Gene's regenerative power, of course. He was thrown off a high cliff and survived at the age of five! And he even survived a 20-year dip in a volcano. I know he has crazy powers and all, but he's still human. How does he survive this junk? Oh, come now. It's not too out of the ordinary at this point. Remember Saitama and Krillin? Both are just mere humans as well. Huh. Guess you're right. That's actually pretty inspiring. Hey kids, eat your veggies and you too can go for 20 year volcano swims. Kids, don't jump in a volcano. Vic is dumb and he should go sit in that corner. Now. All right, now be good and watch Kazuya take on Pit. It's time for a fictional fight. Sorry, I'm sure it's hard to hear me all the way over here in the corner. What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I want to give a quick shout out to Rampage Animations who animated the fight scene for this episode. You should go check out his channel and subscribe, and he's pretty new to Flash, but he's done great so far for being just a beginner. It looks fantastic. So be sure to go to his channel and subscribe, and see how much he's improved in this video from his videos on his channel. I can't wait to see how much he'll improve in the future. Now let's get on with the fight. Once again, good try- CAN I COME OUT OF THE CORNER NOW?! Yes. <clears throat> Once again, good triumphs over evil. Yeah! I managed to see the fight from my corner, it was pretty intense! Believe it or not, Kazuya is superior in every single stat, yet that wasn't enough to help him win. Well duh, have you seen the giant arsenal Pit has? He could easily hold Kazuya back with that. Not to mention, Pit has more skill and experience. 
Wait, what? But Kazuya is like 40 or something, and Pit's just a kid. Kid? <laughs> no. Well, Kazuya was half dead in a volcano for 20 years. Pit was leading an entire army for over 20 years. Jeez, and would you believe us if Arsenal's skill and experience still weren't the largest reasons why Pit won? Pit actually managed to claim victory by simply being Pit. The Devil Gene may be powerful, but it actually has a gigantic weakness to divine and evil destroying beings and attacks. And yes, actual divine attacks like Pit's Light Arrows, not simple key-based attacks with evil destroying labels like the Hadouken and Spirit Bomb. Hahaha, <laughs> yeah, look at Kazuya pump that pitiful thing. Uh, but wait, I have one more question. It's about the telekinesis, isn't it? Well, yeah, telekinesis is like the biggest trump card in a fight against someone who doesn't have any resistance to it. These Devil Gene guys could choke out Goku if they wanted to. Maybe, because Pit can't be choked out. He's an angel, remember? When Palutena actually let him fly, he was able to handle outer space just fine. Huh, well I stand corrected. Looks like Pit really does deserve victory in this divine battle. The winner is... Pit. Get ready for the next battle! Choose love! The cavalry's here! Hey yo! Cheers love! Cavalry's here! And away I go!